Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now March 12th of 2024, and given that all divisions over at the Walt Disney Company across the board are failing and really showing no signs of improvement or a rebound at this point in time, all due to Bob Iger's lack of leadership skills, and let's also not forget to mention his support for the top three shareholders of Disney, BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street, really funding all this DEI nonsense into everything Star Wars, Marvel, and just Disney flat out in general. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So, we already know that Bob Iger likes to lie to the shareholders, to, of course, the customers, also, as he likes to call those that are really tuning into the movies and the TV shows, but we all know at the end of the day that Disney is beginning to really lose its edge. They are really beginning to walk on eggshells at this point after failure after failure. You know, not surprisingly, after all of the box office disasters of 2023. However, that brings us to Deadpool 3. Now, this is the one film that they are truly banking on, that they are crossing fingers that it will make a decent profit at the box office and at movie theaters. Now, there's been a lot of drama happening between Ryan Reynolds and the rest of the cast and the crew going up against the Disney heads, but recently it got even more intense in how it involves Joy Behar of The View and how this is beginning to get quite ugly. Let's discuss, shall we? Now, What's great about Ryan Reynolds, and I pointed this out before, is that he's very much like Henry Cavill. And what I mean by that is he likes to stand up for the fans, he believes that the source material is important and that's all there is to it. However, with Ryan currently involved in the ongoing drama related to Deadpool 3 by both Disney and Marvel Studios, specifically from Bob Iger's push for DEI in the third act of the third film, one major development has much to do with Ryan Reynolds' stand against Disney and what he recently did to Joy Behar of The View, which is, of course, ABC-run and owned by Disney. Now, as it turns out, Reynolds recently sided with director Sean Levy in a desperate move to defend Deadpool 3, where he is now officially rejecting to promote the film on all ABC-run programs. Initially, Ryan Reynolds was supposed to do a very important one-on-one -on -one interview with Joy Behar for Deadpool 3 and the return of Wolverine in the film. Disney had the interview all planned out, where Ryan was planned to come out in costume and do this interview with Joy Behar, mainly followed up with the rest of the hosts of the show. After many disagreements and after what Joy Behar was demanding Disney to do to shift the focus of the interview about DEI in the film and the importance of it all, Reynolds decided to com completely cancel the Joy Behar interview altogether, even with the consequences coming from both Disney and Marvel Studios after doing so. Now, this surprisingly created a major argument between Joy of The View and Ryan Reynolds that rattled throughout all of Disney so much that Bob Iger and Kevin Feige are now already desperately attempting to make rearrangements for interviews. However, Ryan Reynolds is still rejecting these moves by Bob Iger to get him on Joy Behar's The View. This is already creating an uproar from not just Joy, but also from the other hosts of The View, like Whoopi Goldberg, for example, since this interview was going to bring in massive ratings, according to Bob Iger and Disney analysts. Now, this was The View's main shot for 2024 to rejuvenate the show, with Ryan Reynolds playing the role of Deadpool before unmasking himself to do the interview on set of the show. Already, tensions are rising between Ryan and Joy, as, of course, this was all beginning to move toward the production as, as she actually made the push to Bob Iger to make DEI the center of the conversation for the interview that went sour. Other members of the Deadpool 3 film are also joining Ryan's side, like writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, as well as Hugh Jackman, as they defend, of course, his decision to defend himself from jeopardizing his career and from his image. Bob Iger is also reportedly angered over Ryan's stand against Disney and how so many cast and crew members of the film have been backing him ever since. Now, in addition to this, he is also beginning to make more ultimatums. Joy Behar, of course, on the other hand, is demanding Disney to provide her more well-known stars to do interviews, such as Hugh Jackman, but even Ryan convinced Jackman to not go on The View as of now. Jackman is also refusing to go on ABC-run programs until or if Bob Iger decided to make the film the focus rather than the planned agenda 
through reshoots which are still set to begin sometime in April that are going to last until May. Now guys, let me just stop here for one moment before I move on. Now, look, I think it's quite delusional that any Disney analyst would believe that Ryan coming on board of an interview for The View, you know, dressed up as Deadpool and unmasking himself, doing a one-on-one -on -one with Joy Behar, which by the way sounds very cringe to begin with. I mean, let's be real, who even watches The View? Who even really tunes into The View anymore? This is exactly why they're so desperate to get Ryan on there, because they believe that it's gonna rejuvenate their ratings in the long term. And my argument with that is, it's only one episode, it's only one interview. How in the world would that rejuvenate the ratings of The View, you know, day by day for several months, when it's going to be just one episode focusing on this movie and Ryan Reynolds, the star of the film? So, that's quite delusional coming out of both Bob Iger and Joy Behar. It makes absolutely no sense, but what can you expect from Disney, right? Here's the other thing, is that what's really shocking is that you have more people associated with Deadpool 3 standing up with Ryan and defending themselves from the Disney heads of incorporating DEI and really kind of making DEI the focus in many of these upcoming interviews. So much to the point that this in turn convinced Hugh Jackman to also step down from the View interview for Deadpool 3. And you know what? I don't blame Ryan. I don't blame Hugh. They made a very good decision. They made themselves look, you know, uh, very much professional in this sense because they're really standing for the fans. They're standing for what's right and for what really should be done as opposed to just spewing out nonsense and stuff around those lines. Now, sure, Ryan has had some victories and losses with this ongoing battle against Disney of pushing DEI in the third act of the film, reshoots are still planned to insert some elements of that, but they really got quite a number of things canceled. That just goes to show you how thin-skinned Bob Iger can truly be if there's enough pushback. So moving onwards, all right. Now, Joy Behar's drama with certain cast members like Ryan, for example, are beginning to actually grow as the view ratings are showing no signs of a major improvement and with Reynolds' interview now gone. Iger and Behar are desperately heading into damage control to find another star to take the official spot. So again, this just goes to show you that Bob Iger, once again, heading into damage control to not only save movies and streaming services like Disney+, Plus, but to also save their actual shows that are roundtable based, where you have multiple hosts on board, uh, the view is not going to be saved, no matter what you do. Eventually this show, I believe, is going to be flat out cancelled, you know, permanently, if, if this continues for the next two to three years. I don't see it going past that, it's getting so bad at this point. So overall, I think that Ryan made an excellent choice here, regardless of any kind of ramifications coming his way as a result of this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.